I got a membership here with the driving school. Sam's Club seems to always be super packed over there and not packed over here. And you know, it just kind of is what it is. We're not gonna park by this tree. I like what you got going on over there, my fellow Camaro man. Not fellow, I don't know why I'm saying fellow Camaro. It's not like this car is American. Look, dude, you got black wheels. See if we can roll this window down. What I got stock wheels. I don't even know if that's getting it. Yeah, stock wheels. What is that? See that? My my people is a good example of Matt's touch of death. I touched myself right here, burnt the hair right off my face. Don't don't fuck with me. I'll give you the touch of death and that stuff like that will happen. No, I, I really don't know what's going on there. Uh, there's hair there, but it's gray. Actually, it's not gray. It's colorless. It's colorless, okay? I just, I should shave. We're gonna head into that building right there, known as Samuel's Club. See if we can get our materials for later. for something I never have in stock. This is why the internet is taking over the world. Ugh. At least nobody stole my car. Uh, my wheels will look like that later tonight. I like Sam's Club because, focus, damn it. I really do enjoy buying my wipers from Sam's Club because it seems that they have good quality materials for the wipers. I forget what brand it is. I'll be honest, I'm not an aficionado on windshield wipers. Uh, good for you if you are. Maybe you could teach me a thing or two, comment down below, make fun of me. But we're, we're just gonna hit AutoZone, get, get some Plasti Dip and some windshield wipers. Sam's Club failed me. Off to Pet Boys? AutoZone? I don't know. Well, whichever fucking one we can find first. And I don't know about you, but I really enjoy those new taillights. Ha! Ha ha! Ah, you, you probably can't see it. Yeah, this is our ticket. to head back home. I didn't get Plasti Dip. I got Rust-Oleum Peel Dip. I forget what it's called actually. We're gonna see how that works. Apparently it's just thinner than Plasti Dip. That's not from what the AutoZone guys told me. That's from what I did on my own research. They didn't really help me out too well. Uh, did meet a guy in there that actually saw a few of the videos. Said he was a subscriber, so that's cool. There's only 1,500 of you out right now. I appreciate all that, every single one of you, but it's just cool when I see you guys in person and you're kind of local. We have the materials. Like I said, I'm gonna make separate videos of me going in depth with all this stuff. With the wheels, you're most likely just gonna see me show you the finished product. 
in this video. I'm also going to potentially, I believe I'm going to get these taken care of. These side markers, fuck that. That's gonna get changed. If there's anything you wanna see me do, comment below, message me, whatever. Hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, all this stuff. I'll, I read everything you guys send me. I'm also gonna debadge this. Stay tuned. Wardrobe change, just due to the fact that I wanted to take some of my clothing off and replace it with lesser clothing. I've got a game plan here. First, I'm gonna use a stock exhaust. That exhaust, I'm not gonna use uh, modified exhaust parts or anything, but there's something that I'm gonna list a video at the end of this video in a little link description thing that goes into detail as to what exactly I'm doing with the stock exhaust on the Porsche. Before I get an aftermarket exhaust, I want to try this out. I hear good things about it. I've read it on forums. I'm not the first to do this. It's about a two minute maneuver that apparently makes this thing sound great. So we're just going to try it out. If it sucks, I can put on a different exhaust. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not going to go on for 10 minutes about that. Then, we're gonna clean the wheels. Once we clean the wheels, we're gonna remove the wheels. Once we remove the wheels, we're gonna go back inside of the office and we're gonna start painting them matte black. Just because they're gonna be winter beater wheels. I know they're the manufacturer rims. Don't mind the noises in the background of this right now. My phone going off and my lovely neighbors performing some type of satanic ritual. I don't know what it is. There's like a birthday party going on, they got a moon bounce, it's, it's okay. Back to the task at hand. I might include some of the reps, just to show you before and after for everything. I'm gonna show you before and after for the exhaust, before and after for the wheels, before and after for the tint, for the side markers, I'm doing that too. Anyway, first I'm gonna do something superbly genius, like showing you what the car sounds like stock. Prior to. What was that? Prior to us making the modification, just so you can see the before and after. I'll also pair them up side by side at the end, shall we? Just because I know it's a great idea due to the fact that I'm, my hands are going to be on the exhaust, so why not get it hot? Let's do it. Let's see what this exhaust is sounds like. Boy, it's hot in here. Now you know what the car sounds like, the stock. God damn it, get over here. You need a jack. Don't worry, you're not gonna have to watch that because I'm already boring enough as it is. I'm not gonna make you watch me jack up a car. I'm gonna jack stand in the front, jack stand under the lower control, well, yeah, under the lower control arm, just in case this thing slips. Hydraulic jack right there too. I'm gonna throw y'all down here. So. Welcome to my humble abode. I am gonna pull this off because this is dirty as fuck, as you can tell. This looks like shit. If I can pull this trim off, that's gonna go matte black as well. I think that should be easy to do. Now before I start ripping into this thing, I'm gonna throw on some gloves because Dr. Wade's about to go to work. I want to rev this thing when I'm done, so I just don't want to <sighs> get my hands fucked up. It's also good to do this because your skin is one of the largest organs in your body. You do not want to get harmful chemicals or shit like this on it. Yeah, there you go. Not that it really fucking matters. I'm not going to get much on me, just a little bit of dirt and maybe some grease, but still, it's the principle, right? We got this clamp loosened up. You can see the uh, the gloves aren't long enough, apparently. Clean this piece of shit off. 
I like how that looks just with the single pipe rather than what do you think obviously this fits the continuity of the bumper due to the fact that you have this buffer right here I'm gonna paint this black and we'll see how that looks I'm just I'm not sure not certain what I want to do aha all right I'm gonna I'm gonna put you right here don't miss me too much a tick on me. How did that sound? Did it sound good? I don't know what it sounds like from outside of the car, but yeah, what, what do you think? I think I think I, I notice a, a small slight throatiness, maybe a little bit more of the fuel overrun. Let's get these wheels off. I know I'm leaning to the left a little bit right here, so yeah, why not? Let's, pu let's pull these things off clean them up, take them into the office, and then start painting this shit. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put this in there. Not in there, on there. We're gonna put this all over there, actually. We're gonna take these wheels off, and we're gonna get some of, uh, I gotta go to the gym more. Okay, Rust-Oleum Peel Coat. Matte Black. My name's Matt, and it's not spelled that way, so Matty. Mate, Mate, Mate Black. We have the Rustorium Peel Coat Mate Black. And what we're going to do today is we're going to shake it up, get it nice and warm, and then we're going to peel it. Peel it. I said peel it. We're going to spray it all over these wheels once we take them off. We're going to clean them first because they have a lot of fucking brake dust on there right now. I don't know why. I do not drive the car fast. I do not brake hard. It is weird. It is weird to me. I do not understand it. Uh, it, may, it may just be special effects, very expensive HD computer special effects, and that is all it is. It is not actual brick dust. We're going to clean that off. Clean it off. Look at that. I'm cleaning it right now. It may even be clean as as we do this. A magical, a magical, magical powers, magical powers, Rustolium. This is apparently better than Plasti Dip. It's two more dollars, so it fucking better be. Rustoleum, if you see this video, you better fucking send me free shit because if I don't talk shit on you, then, well, I'm gonna like your stuff, you're gonna like my stuff, and it's gonna be cool because I'm just gonna totally promote this. It's apparently thinner than Plasti Dip, therefore, it will give a more professional appeal. You just have to work better with it. Plasti Dip, after like six or seven coats, you can cover up blemishes and stuff. This stuff, with it being thinner, maybe not so much, but at the same time, since it's not so thick, Perhaps you will not have as many blemishes. I'm going to shut up and stop talking because you don't want to watch this video to watch me talk. You want to watch this video to watch me walk and, you know, put the stuff on the car. Wheels. Put the stuff on the wheels that go on the car. Actually, I don't have a gun on me, so I'm just going to get a breaker bar. I'm going to drop these off the stands and everything first and then do that. Uh, I don't really know if I want to film that because that shit's boring this isn't a how to jack your fucking car tutorial if you want one of those i'll make one i'm playing guitar right here therefore magic is about to happen shim wow you're probably wondering how did you do that matt that's magic i don't know i can't tell you got the wheels off these very quickly let's not damage them okay cool like i said this is a two-day process because when i paint them I'm gonna have to wait about 24 hours before they fully dry. So now we have them all over here. My allergies are really killing me. I don't know if I'm gonna survive, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, hell. I'm fucking dead. Woo.
Now I've got the exhaust tip in here. I'm just soaking it and scrubbing it down a little bit. Clean the inside and the outside of it, just like the wheels. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hold on one second. Hello. I kind of started without you, but it's okay. We're inside now. It is the next day because I had like an allergy attack. Not really, but my allergies were getting to me. It was getting dark uh, and I had some things to do. So next day we're doing this. These wheels, that exhaust tip and those center caps are going to be black. So we've got all these finished up. The center caps, that, that the exhaust tip and the exhaust tip trim. We're just gonna let this dry off. Ah, I didn't think that would work. I'm just gonna touch these wheels up and then uh, we're gonna get all this stuff back in the car once it dries up. While we are waiting for the wheels to dry and all that other stuff, the exhaust tip and whatnot, I thought I was gonna forget about this, didn't you? Got my, my Bosch, 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 Boosh, boosh. When I was at AutoZone picking these up, I made a joke, I, just doing what I just did. And the guy, the salesman, the awkward, whoever he was that worked there, is like, oh, it's, it's Bosch. Can I have any sort of fun at all? It's gonna ruin my life. Why don't you just kill me, stab me with this right now? I call him Bosch. Could be Bosch, 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 Bosch. Who gives a fuck? I don't. I don't care. So anyway, I am going to change out these wipers. I'm about a quarter of the way done, considering I took this one out already. So, for those of you who uh, want to know how to do this and can't follow the instructions, please refer to the video that is listed below or linked at the end of this video. Otherwise, we can switch to me putting the wheels on. <clears throat> yeah. Pop this open, fuck those directions, fuck this shit, fuck that. Not really, I'm gonna have to clean that up anyway, it's on the asshole. And then just let it snap in. Voila, new wiper blades. I'm gonna bring the wheels out, they should be dry by now. I'm gonna head in and we'll cut the center caps as well. I cut through here. I see it's starting to peel back in certain areas. You just gotta catch it at a spot where it is strong. It's kind of like you're trying to flip a pancake. You don't want to be too aggressive. Just fuck everything up. Bang. There we go. All right. <clears throat> I'm not gonna show you me doing the other two because it's the same exact process. We're gonna put these on last. We're gonna get the wheels on first and then we're gonna get the exhaust tip on and tighten up the bolts, whatever we need to, put the exhaust tip trim on, and then we should be good to go. To conclude, the exhaust. We gotta put the trim on first. Exhaust trim, painted. I've got the tip. What I do wanna see is how this looks. I just want to see how it looks. There's a clip right here, here, well actually no, here, 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 and here. One, two, three, four. And then these little slots. Uh, they go into there, I believe. Yes, they do. Should just clip right in. Yep. And it's in. Hmm, how's that look? What do you think? That looks cool. What is that noise? That's a car. Do you hear that? Oh my God, brother. No, I just want you to remember how this looks. I'm thinking about just coming out straight with the pipe because that looks sick. All right, that's where it was. That should be good. Is that even? Does it look like it's the end? Let's bring these wheels outside, shall we? Now that we've got the exhaust finished up, it was four bolts. That was simple, I pulled this off and we're good to go. Got both wheels on this side of the car at least. I'm gonna pop this center cap in. We're gonna drop it off the jack stands to see how it looks. I'm actually gonna get the other wheels on first in order to get the jack 
because I, I need to do that. All the wheels on. I'm about to remove the jack stands and then drop it down so we can see what it looks like. Pull number uno out. You ready for this? That is exactly what I was looking for. I kind of just want to take this for a drive. Here's the exhaust. Let me know what you like, what you think, how you like it. I can already tell the exhaust note sounds way, way different. It's still not where I want it to be, but it'll do for now. I mean, that was like a five minute fix. Let's give it some juice. Sounds good. Still sounds too restricted. I need to do some stuff with the air intake to really get uh, what I want out of it, out of the stock sound. It looks so good from the outside just with the wheels being changed. It's, it's crazy how much of a difference that makes. It darkens, the, it changes the whole mood of the car. I don't know how much of that footage I'm actually going to use just because the camera's on a tripod right now. I don't have it hooked up to a suction cup. And I really just, out of excitement, wanted to take the car out for a drive. You pro I don't know if the, the camera is going to pick it up, but the car sounds more like a street bike while it's driving now. Uh, it's still, like I said earlier, it's still too restricted and muffled. It sounds like this when I'm talking regularly and then restricted like this. This is how the car sounds. That's how the car sounds. And that's what I'm getting at. So I have a few modifications I want to make to the intake. Also, these air vents right here, those louvers. I'm going to remove them and I have something on the way that um, I'm going to replace with that. But I'm going to get started on these side markers next. Real quick to do. I'm going to make a video going on that as well. But you see them orange, you're going to see them black next. Now that's what it looks like. Just locked right in place. I'm content with that. So that is what we ended with. Side markers are matte black. Today, we had a very productive day. Got the wheels on, finished them in a matte black with the Rust-Oleum peel coat. Uh, not too impressed with the quality of that stuff, but it's okay, is what it is. Those wheels are just gonna end up being winter wheels as well. I have some other plans for the car with wheels and things of that sort. Oh, I'm out of breath. I also did debadge it as well. And we are doing a ton of other things as far as the interior goes. I'm switching a lot of the regular surfaces out for Alcantara or suede, not Alcantara. Just call it Alcantara. Sounds better. I'm gonna do a lot of minor touches or subtle touches in the car. And then I think once all that's done and I get bored of it, we're gonna do something a little aggressive and obnoxious with the car. But right now I'm gonna enjoy the whole stealthy black look to it probably bring this to cars and coffee lehigh valley next month if you like what you saw in this video hit that thumbs up sorry if it was a little bit lengthy i just had a lot of things to go over i did do you the honor of splitting up all the labor intensive things into their own separate videos in about 30 seconds or whatever if i didn't shut up quick enough there's going to be links to those videos if you haven't watched them or if you just watched this whole video and you're going to watch that stuff as well so please check that out go subscribe that red button down there, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, there's a little notification bell to the right, your right, which is my left right now. Turn that on, and I will see you later. Subscribe, mother-